In this video, we're going to be using your custom implant from a different manufacturer to work with the guide module. So in order to do this, we need to get the orientation of the implant to the center of the blender workspace. Here, I'm going to be selecting the implant. And the first thing we notice is it's way off the center of the blender, blender scene. So we need to get this implant to the center. So with it being selected, I will right click and set the origin to the center of the mass. Then making sure that the cursor is in fact in the center of the workspace, shift S on the keyboard and then click on cursor to world origin. Select your implant, shift S again and then click selection to cursor. Now we have it in the center, but we have to orientate it properly. From the front view, we will notice that there is a slight slant. So go up top and make sure the X and Y axes are visible and the grid is also visible. Now the point of origin is in the center. We need to move it to the top. Also, we need to get, make sure that this, we, we, the slant has been corrected. So from the top view, we can see how it has, in, in fact, been slanted. So we're going to look at it from the right side, and this is very visible. So let us get this implant correctly aligned. So I'm going to be viewing this from the front side and then tab edit mode A to select all these vertices and then use G on your keyboard and then with the arrow down on the keyboard move the implant down so that the X, the, the red line, the X axis is aligned with your implant. Then use R on the keyboard and with the arrow moving it to correct and align it correctly. The mouse seems to be a bit sensitive so use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Then I'm going to see where the Z axis comes out in transparent mode. We can directly see how this Z axis is running. Once I'm sort of satisfied with this, I'm going to view it from the right side. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. So R on the keyboard with the arrows on your keyboard. And then G to move it to the top green line. Try and be as accurate as what you can. Then we're going to view it one more time from the front side and use the R key to get it perfectly aligned. That's really good. The next thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that the point of origin is in fact where it should be. So here I'm just double checking and triple checking, looking at the sides and the grid just to see by eye. Unfortunately, we have to do this by eye. Now I want to make sure that uh, get this implant in fact lined in the center. So I'm going to be selecting the vertices of the top to outline a ring. And then I'm going to, then we're going to head to the top and select median point. And then cursor to select it. This puts the cursor to the, the middle of the selection. I'm going to exit edit mode and set the origin to the 3D cursor. 
then I'm going to set the cursor, bring it back to, into the center of the workspace. So I'm going to be click cursor to, no, sorry, we're going to have cursor to the world origin. You see it slides, shift, and then selection to cursor. That puts it exactly into the center. Now this implant is ready to be used for the guide module. To check that it works, I'm going to export it and I will name it custom. Make sure the selection only button and you would obviously not call it custom, you would call it the name of your implant size or whatever it is so that you can identify it. We've imported the, the implant in the guide module, I'm going to be going to accept your implant and this has now imported and created all the necessary components to work with the guide module. I'll rotate it a little bit and just double check that I can in fact create sleeves. We will delete the zones and start, select your orange cylinder, click on that one, key in your your dimensions and then we will put the sleeve to the top and just run through the menu. Trim the drill and make the hole. So it's working perfectly the way it should be doing. So now you want to see this in your components module. In order to do that, we need two things. We need to make a PNG um, render. You can do a, um, a nice render or you can take a snapshot to save time. So I will select a, um, a matte cap, like a metallic matte cap maybe. You can spend a lot of time or make a quick render. In this one, I'm using the snapshot on my Windows um, keyboard, just a print screen. I'll tilt it a bit, get rid of the X and Y um, axes, and then hit the print screen on my keyboard. Following this, we will open up um, Paint, Windows Paint. and then paste paste the, the snapshot into Windows Paint. Simply crop out your implant and then save it. Now the, the saved file name has to be the exact same name you are going to be using for your, your export. So here I'm, I'm calling it custom, you would call it implant, your implant manufacturer name and your diameters for example or your your codes, your the supplier code reference numbers or something. Now we export this as an OBJ file. Click selection only and place it in the same directory as your PNG file. So these two need to be selected and then open up the geometry and deselect everything except for the lower vertex order. And then click name it the same file as your PNG file. These two have to be identical. Then what we're going to do is and we're going to take the PNG and the OBJ file, which were on my desktop. By the way, you can save it straight into your, your library once it has been created. In the B4D assets folder, asset PC folder, I will then make a new folder, call it my library or whatever you want to call it. Could be your implant manufacturer.
and then we're going to paste these two in. So if you're doing a mess, then save it directly into your assets folder. So I'm going to make sure your 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 asset manager is is pointing towards this folder and here we can see my library and then we can use the implants in the component module to test it we will delete this one and append the implant into it and that all seems to be working 100% All right. Okay. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.